What is up, everybody? Back with my first discography ranking in a long time, and it's going to be Tesla. Awesome band. I'm a huge fan. Um, I've seen them live once back in 2015, opening for Def Leppard. Of course, they freaking always tour with Def Leppard these days for the most part, but a uh, great band. They formed in 1981. They're from Sacramento, California. Uh, originally, they were called Earthshaker, and then, like the Japanese band, and then they switched their name to City Kid for a few years, and finally landed on Tesla, which is a really cool name. Um, as far as band members go, they've had a rock-solid lineup for the most part. The only major change was going from Tommy Skio as one of their guitar players. I used to call him Tommy Skiach, and somebody, you know, kindly informed me in the comments a long time ago that it's Skio, not Skiach. So, Tommy Skio, no longer in the band. He was replaced by Dave Root on guitar in 2006, who is great. Of course, Frank Hannon, amazing guitar player as well that's been there since the beginning. Jeff Keith, just that beautifully raspy, unique voice of his. Uh, you know, just such, you know, a staple with Tesla sound. The, you know, the instruments and all are great, but you hear his voice, you know, instantly it's Tesla. Uh, Brian Weed on bass, of course, and Troy Lachetta on the drums. You know, great band. They got eight albums that I'm going to be ranking here today. They got a couple others that I'm not counting, like two albums they did covering old classic rock songs and an acoustic uh, album. But we're doing the eight full length, you know, all original material studio albums that they have put out. Uh, a lot of really good stuff. Some that I don't really love too much that we'll uh, talk about here in a second. But just my opinion. Uh, Going to count them down eight to one. And uh, yeah, here we go. You won't All right, so coming in last for me at number eight, it's got to be Shock. This is their most recent album. Came out in 2019, and, you know, it's just kind of forgettable to me. Uh, I really would find it hard to believe that at this point, we're three, four years past it, so there's no recency bias on this. Any Tesla fan going to listen to Tesla, there's probably almost none of them putting this album on. Uh, you know, not to rip on it too hard, but it's just... Sounds kind of generic, boring, forgettable. Uh, the most memorable moment of the album for me is You Won't Take Me Alive's chorus is pretty catchy, pretty good. Uh, but other than that, not too much positive about it. I mean, Jeff Keith's voice still sounds pretty much the same, which is cool to hear. Uh, just a lot of the time with the like 80s hard rock type of bands like Tesla, when they put out new albums, uh, it, just, it just ain't it. Like There's a couple that can do it pretty well, but... Uh, I'm just not really feeling it with this album. Not to rip on it too hard, but it's got to be. It's got to be last. If you like it, that's cool. But for me, number eight, it's got to be Shock. There's no one tonight, there's coming back until the break of dawn. Next up at number seven, I'm gonna go with uh, 2014's Simplicity. I actually have a shirt for this album. I saw it. Uh, the tour in uh, 2015, whenever it was, with Def Leppard, as I said, but cool shirt. Uh, the album, uh, it's got a couple of pretty decent moments. I wouldn't say it's entirely boring and forgettable like uh, the last one, but, um, you know, it's still not that great. Like, I doubt, like, too many people are going back to this album specifically when they're going to listen to Tesla, uh, but I will say MP3 is a pretty cool song. Uh, Rise and Fall is a nice, like, dark one, very moody, and Break of Dawn, I gotta say, is easily... The best song uh, of the last two albums for me. It's heavy, got a big, heavy bass tone. It's got a really cool kind of acoustic transition, which reminds me of Modern Day Cowboy. Kind of a, a nice, you know, reminiscent moment there when you hear that to Modern Day Cowboy. But, uh, you know, not entirely bad. And also another uh, down part about this album, I think, is that it's too long. 60 minutes, 14 songs. Doesn't need to be that long. Uh, there's too many ballads. Like the last two albums, there's just too many ballads. Tesla is a band that's done a lot of ballads, but especially with the modern ones, they're just not good. So, uh, yeah, that's my number seven, Simplicity. Coming in at number six is going to be Forevermore, the 2008 album. Now... From here on out, I genuinely really like the rest of these. Uh, a massive, massive leap up from, you know, the previous two albums, Simplicity and Shock, which, 
just overall the sound is better um it doesn't sound as modernized even though it is modern just like the production is much better the overall sound is much better it's way more consistent the kind of ballady slower songs on this album are much less cheesy and like on those last two albums that sounds like they were trying to like make their ballads all happy and joyful and shit but this one you know they're like dark and like kind of very moody atmosphere and uh, kind of creepy sounding at times and the like forevermore the title track is just an absolutely like perfect tesla song it's got everything you want the slow little build up heavy chugging riff jeff's voice sounds amazing uh great vocal melodies from him the chorus is great and catchy the solo is awesome uh so that is like one of the better tesla songs honestly and like their whole discography is this title track here uh but other than that i want to live's a cool song and probably breaking free is actually like a cool dark mid-paced kind of ballady song that is uh, good and memorable, but overall, not a bad album at all. Number six, Forevermore. Next up at number five, I've got Into the Now from 2004. Really, really good solid album here. It was their last to feature Tommy Skeo on guitar, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's a really solid album. They had about 10 years at uh, this time between albums. Their previous full-length uh, release was put out in 94. This is 2004, so had a while to get this right the way they wanted it, and it's really good. Um, you know, consistent stuff. There's 12 tracks, the title track opening up the album. Really good. Uh, got a nice build-up, uh, heavy song, dark song. Heaven 911, really, really great. Very powerful, meaningful lyrics. Um, you know, the chorus is amazing, very catchy and memorable. Just an uh, awesome, awesome song there. If you don't know it, listen to that one, especially Heaven 911 and the title track, my two standouts on the album, but some other really good stuff on here and uh, overall, really solid. So it is number five, Into the Now. Next up at number four, I've got Psychotic Supper. I've got a really cool uh, classic set of it right here. Uh, really awesome album. Their first four are just all absolute classics in my mind. Uh, not much negative to say here about this. I'll pull out the tape to look at some of these songs. But uh, yeah, there's just amazing guitar playing from Skio and uh, Frank Hannon. Jeff's voice sounds amazing. The whole band is on absolute fire here. Edison's Medicine is just awesome. Some great shredding throughout that. And Don't De-Rock Me. Uh, very fast-paced, like hard-rocking songs. Uh, song in Emotion, a bit slower. Very dark song. Uh, really cool stuff. Gets kind of heavy. Uh, there's actually, you know, I'd say some somewhat deep cuts, like Had Enough's a really good song. And uh, Can't Stop's got a really great solo. Uh, Freedom Slave's another really great one on here. Those are my standout tracks for the album. I guess I'll take this out and show. We got the fold-out of the cassette. The guys there, 1991. Uh, yeah, got Brian Wheat looking kind of like uh, Mick Foley, the wrestler a little bit there, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, great album. Uh, my number four, Psychotic Supper. <laughs> Next up at number three for me is Bust a Nut. Uh, what an album. What an album name. And uh, this thing is freaking amazing. Uh, very heavy in moments, like on Solution. Just big, chugging, amazing. Great riff. The rhythm of the song is amazing. Uh, Jeff's voice over top of that riff is just fantastic. Love the chorus. Love everything about it. And uh, Shine Away, I gotta say, has one of the most majestic, amazing, like, guitar harmonizing uh just parts like about four and a half, four minutes or so in, just they hit this part uh, that is just absolutely mesmerizing, to be honest. Uh, and really, it's just a great, dark, awesome song. And the guitar part, go check that out about four minutes in. You will not regret it because it is fantastic. But looking at the rest of the stuff, uh, some other really good ones, Action Talks, I really love. Uh, Rubber Band's a really good, uh, good song, Earth Mover. But yeah, I've always loved this album. Uh, interesting, funny name to the album. Uh, we got the inside here, got the purple CD. It's got a big, like, fold out map thing I'll show, uh, which is pretty cool. If I can get it open here. Of the machine busting some nuts. 
<clears throat> what the magnificence of uh, art here. And then the blueprint. But yeah, really awesome album. Uh, Shine Away, Solution, a couple of the standouts, Action Talks. Very heavy, very awesome album. Bust the Nut, number three. <laughs> All right, so my number two is going to be Mechanical Resonance. Uh, awesome album. Great, great way for him to bust onto the scene. I've got uh, the cassette tape here. You can barely see it up there in the corner, but I've got the vinyl on my wall above the Merciful Fate album. I've got the CD somewhere. Uh, just, you know, magnificent debut album. Very consistent. Love the overall production sound and tone on here. Just the guitars are so sharp and crunchy and amazing. Uh, to open it up, we got Easy Come, Easy Go, which is great. Coming at you live, Too Late for Love, Rock Me to the Top. These songs are all just absolutely fantastic, amazing guitar work, uh, very catchy, very awesome, very memorable, uh, just classic songs. And of course, Modern Day Cowboy, probably their biggest hit or one of their biggest hits. It's uh, definitely in my top five songs by them. Just love everything about that song. Uh, it's in an episode of Supernatural, <clears throat> which is my favorite show. Really cool to see it in that. And uh, just a song that like gives you chills. It's so freaking awesome and perfect. But uh, yeah, a couple other good ones on here. But those are the standouts for me. Mechanical Resonance. I'm holding it upside down. But here it is. Great freaking album. Number two. And taking the number one spot is The Great Radio Controversy from 1989. Just an amazing album here. Previously, I have listed this in my top 25 albums of all time. I think it's pretty much a masterpiece. Hang Tough to open it up is just so freaking good. That guitar, the harmonizing with uh, Skio and Frank Hannon, you know, it's just so amazing. Uh, it gives you goosebumps. It's that great. Uh, just That's my favorite Hessel song. I love everything about it. Uh, Heaven's Trail, No Way Out. Great, very heavy song. And this album, it's pretty much, you know... It's similar to the first album, but it's a little bit heavier. I think the production and sound is slightly better. Uh, love, I just love this one a bit more, but I do love that debut. Also, looking at the rest of this stuff, uh, Lazy Days, Crazy Nights is cool. Yesterday's Gone's a really great one. Uh, Paradise, you know, great one right towards the back of the album there. It's a really dark song, kind of ballady-ish, but it's also, you know, fast and heavy like normal. But uh, yeah, this album, Lady Luck to it, I didn't even mention. That's a really good heavy one, but dude... Why the heck do I keep holding them upside down? But uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's this way. But then I look at the back. I got to turn it upside down to read the songs. And then it's upside down. But yeah, masterpiece of an album, 1989. Great radio controversy. My favorite Tesla album. Uh, but yeah, really cool discography for the most part. Except for, as I said, those uh, two most recent albums are not that good. But the rest, uh, really solid stuff. And one thing I want to clarify from earlier, I did mention how... Uh, I think it was Shock was too long, but it's actually not as long as like Bust the Nut and um, Psychotic Supper, but uh, those can be longer because they're actually really good and have uh, really amazing songs and uh, Shock does not. But yeah, that is my ranking of Tesla's discography. I would like to see y'all's rankings in the comments. I got a feeling that 95% of you will probably have shock and uh, simplicity as the bottom two in whichever order you want. And then the top two, for the most part, are probably uh, Mechanical Resonance and The Great Radio Controversy. But hey, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think about my ranking. And as usual, you guys, thank you for watching.